Good morning and happy Sabbath. Welcome to song service. During the month of August, we're learning hymn number 62, How Lovely is Thy Dwelling Place. My goal is that we do a lot more than just sing the words and notes, though. I want us to understand what we're singing about. What does the word ardently mean in verse 2? Because it ends in L-Y, we can be pretty sure that it's an adverb, and our verb is long, so it must describe that. If we look up ardent in the dictionary, we find enthusiastic or passionate, and older dictionaries might even say burning or glowing. So when it says, my soul longs ardently, it says my soul passionately longs to be in God's presence. Let's sing number 62, How Lovely is Thy Dwelling Place. Continue with the idea of longing ardently for God by singing an 8th, 8th century Irish text. This poem lays it all on the line, inviting God to be our high king, our ruler, and our everything. The haunting melody slain is a perfect accompaniment to this hymn. Number 547, Be Thou My Vision. Oh. 
Our final song this morning is number 206, Face to Face. We change styles drastically, both in text and in tune, but I think that the longing to be in God's presence remains just as passionate. Number 206, Face to Face. <laughs> and an ardent blessing to the singing of these words. Happy Sabbath.